but like that's my favorite part of coming home. I don't have time for this, so I have to get ready. <laughs> another video if you can't tell i'm in a different environment because i'm actually in vancouver there is crazy feedback in this room it literally sounds like i'm in a tunnel or like a cave i'm just about to get ready to head out for lunch so i thought i'd catch you guys up on what's going on why i'm here and all that good stuff i need to leave in like 30 minutes i'm also wearing my mom's clothes because it was so nice in vancouver for the last like two weeks in terms of the weather and then of course once i got here yesterday was actually pretty sunny i was like wow Wow, this is so nice. It's warm. And then today it's like raining. I hate the rain. If you didn't know, I mean, who likes the rain? So I don't really have clothes to wear. I'm just doing my skincare, by the way. I just put some moisturizer on. I'm gonna put some eye cream on. This is from Verst. I've been really liking their products. So why am I here? I'm actually here for work. Since my family lives here, though, obviously I've decided to stay with them. I kind of had a little situation. I'm only really bringing this up because I feel like this is probably something that other people have experienced before long story short i moved down in 2019 come back here like you know a couple times a year last time i was here was only a couple months ago and out of nowhere last night when i got home all my stuff was gone all my stuff out of my bedroom was removed had no idea that was gonna happen and also i was literally just here so i was like why why now why couldn't i have just moved my stuff if that was something that needed to happen so my mom obviously moved all my stuff out she didn't throw it away which i mean if she did i think i would have absolutely lost it but that that really triggered me because it's a big thing and then I was talking to a couple of friends about it and I realized I guess everyone that moves out has dealt with this before it makes sense I'm not using this stuff but it's the fact that it's my belongings she was like oh I thought I was helping I was cleaning and it's not like you're using this stuff anyways and I'm like that's because I don't live here that's why I'm not using it it definitely made me feel some type of way but I also recognize it's just stuff they're just material things so is gonna be fine. They're stowed away, but in that moment, I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Has anyone else experienced that? I didn't realize when I started to vent about it that other people have experienced similar things, but I guess it is more common than I thought. And then it's like, in that situation, what do you even do? It's already been done. I was like, oh, I'm not even gonna talk to my mom. I'm just gonna be like upset about it. But then I thought it's just stuff. It's gonna be fine, but also not cool. I cannot with this outfit. At least my mom and I can fit each other's clothes but also why is it raining today is what I want to know all right I am heading to meet my friend for dinner oh my god the sun is so beautiful outside I mistakenly wore long pants and a jean jacket I just thought because it wasn't that nice earlier that I thought this would be the move but it's not it is so hot I'm gonna get some sushi he asked me what I wanted and I was like I kind of want something that you can't get in Toronto not that you can't get sushi but like it's just not the same so we're gonna do that and it's gonna be a nice little catch up getting myself ready there's like no good lighting in here typical content people type of concerns i don't know if i told you guys but yesterday i went shopping i got these jeans that my mom ended up hemming for me because I am incapable of doing that for myself. So thanks to my mom for doing that. And then I went to dinner like you saw with my friend last night. That was really nice. I hadn't seen him since like September. So it was nice to catch up. This tank top is from Aritzia. And then these jeans I got, like I said yesterday, I just got them from H&M because I have no long sleeve clothing except for this, which this is from Princess Polly. And it's actually part of like a two piece with shorts. And it is definitely not shorts weather right now. It says it's 18 degrees celsius but 
doesn't really feel like it, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna get some lunch with my parents. I'm also gonna meet up with my friend Josh afterwards, so we're probably gonna do dinner. I don't know how I feel about this. This top is very oversized. I can't find any decent lighting, so we're back in the bathroom because I just can't. But I got some bubble tea, I got dinner with my friend Josh. I haven't seen him since his wedding, which was I guess only in April, so it hasn't been too long. I feel like I've eaten way too much food since I've been back here. Getting to catch up with people has been a really nice treat, except also makes me feel like disgusting <laughs> having bubble tea, so there you go. I was talking about this with Josh when we were just hanging out, about how even though I don't live here physically, we're far apart, you can still have good relationships with people. I feel like if you want to make the effort to stay close with someone and you want to keep a relationship then it doesn't matter where you are and I'm always so grateful when I come back and usually I don't give very much notice because I <laughs> suck at making plans with people this time around I especially didn't give much notice because I'm here for work so I didn't want to like over plan and be rushed but last minute I just messaged a few people if you want to make time for people you will you don't need to be living in the same place to keep your friendships and even though I don't have a lot of friends as I've talked about it makes me really appreciative of the time that I do get to spend especially when it's people that you don't get to see often but yet you still have such genuine conversations and catch up on everything all that type of stuff so i'm feeling kind of gross especially from like wandering around all day so i'm gonna end this little portion and take a shower but i'll see you guys in the morning which is very unlike me. I honestly have been trying to force myself to wear colors. I wear a lot of black and white and you know, just trying to diversify. I'm getting ready for brunch and it is currently 10, 12. My friend Gabby's picking me up. Gabby, if you're watching this, I hope I made it on time. I'm sorry if I didn't. I don't remember the name of the place, but apparently it's on TikTok. I don't know if I've really talked about this, but I'm not really a TikTok girly. I don't have time for this. I have to get ready. <laughs> with this weather it was literally raining this morning and then now it's sunny and it's perfect how can you plan your day or like plan to do anything when the weather changes all the time and there's a plane i just poured myself a little drink this is actually tequila cream i got it when i was in puerto vallarta it's kind of like bailey's except it's tequila based anyways it's still like not warm warm which is so unfortunate because i know i said i brought the wrong clothes but to be more specific i brought myself. <laughs>
As I was saying, I brought four pairs of shorts, which obviously I haven't worn at all. But also, I really should have expected it because this is literally always what happens when I come back. We've just been chilling out. We didn't really make any plans and I am cool with that. But also, I've talked about me moving away before and the feels about that. It still hits me every time. Maybe it's because we're also in the suburbs. If you like more peaceful surroundings and like less of a hustle and bustle, then this is where it's at but it just feels quiet especially because we're not like in downtown Vancouver for example if the weather was really nice I would have liked to go and do something today but the minute it started raining I was like let's just stay home enjoy the rest of my drink I wish I had a book or something to read I feel like I have some books that I had left here but as you remember my mom cleared all of the stuff out of my room so I don't know where any of it is or I might try to just get some editing done It is Monday. It is a dreary Monday at that. It's my last full day in Vancouver, so I fly out tomorrow. My mom and I just had some breakfast at home, some nice, simple Asian foods. I'm sure most of you can relate, but like that's my favorite part of coming home. Even if you're not Asian, coming home to home cooked meals. For me, I mean, we don't really make Asian foods like that in Toronto. I make westernized Asian foods, like we'll have stir fry and fried rice, but like, you know, the real, real Asian foods. I definitely miss that. So we just had some food. Oh, my hair is so dry. That's another thing between Vancouver and Toronto. I would say it is more dry here. We're gonna go shopping today. Literally, my mom and I always go shopping when we're together. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna be buying stuff for myself today because I'm trying to save money, but we'll see. lighting is so bad <laughs> we're back from shopping it is pouring rain outside and it's just like gray and not the vibe but we spent about three and a half hours inside the mall the good thing was that it wasn't really busy because it's monday so no one's really shopping like that but also it was a lot of time i was like i'm done let's get out of here and i honestly we got quite a few things most of it was because we wanted to get some stuff for my family in china as like gifts and stuff like that but also remember when i said i was wasn't planning on getting anything for myself. That kind of didn't happen. Let's do a little haul. How can this lighting get even worse than it already is? I don't understand. So there was one thing that I actually wanted to get. It's kind of random when I show you guys. I basically saw there was a jacket at Old Navy that was on sale and Old Navy is already cheap. So I was like, I'm not gonna feel too bad because it's a budget conscious decision. But this is like a bomber style water resistant light jacket. I'm not gonna be doing a try on because your girl is tired, but it's in the style okay fuck. i'll just put it on quickly of course i'm wearing black already so you can't see anything this is the style it's kind of cropped i'm 5'3 i'm saying this because they actually have a petite line at old navy which i actually think is really cool for like the price and everything i thought that this length was a bit better the other one came up to like probably there nice lightweight throw on when you head out the door type of vibe i also got this at old navy striped button up i have something kind of similar but it's more tight fitted and this is a boyfriend fit this is casual vibes and i can wear this with a shirt underneath and buttons open or something like that i haven't tried it on we'll get to that in a second we went to uniqlo this is a tank top i actually really like these i have two of them already in a gray and a pink color the pink one was actually the one i wore a couple days ago the fit is really nice i just got a small i could probably fit an extra small but i prefer to have a bit more room it's just a simple white tank top nothing special but i do I do really like this style, so if you're looking for an affordable tank top, highly recommend Uniqlo. Let's just put this on top. There is cooking happening downstairs, if you're hearing. 
hammering, I think there's meat that's being beat down right now. I always prefer to like roll up the sleeves, especially when it's summertime. I feel like the collar is kind of weird right now because of just how it was probably in the bag and how it was sitting earlier, but this is the look. Casual, in the office type of vibe. This is like random, but I really, 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 really don't like formal clothes for business purposes. I just can't stand how I look in blazer. Not to say I don't like the style and not to say that people don't like, you know, boss ass bitch. In them. Me, I feel like I'm playing dress up or something. This is more my style. Yeah. I also got this top from Uniqlo. Sorry about the noise in the background. This is a linen blend, quite a relaxed fit. I have the tank top underneath because it is kind of sheer. I'm like trying to pull the neck down to see so you guys can see it. But if I had like some casual light wash jeans, that helps balance it out. The colors are a bit much, I think. I didn't even intentionally get stuff for work purposes, but somehow that's what I ended up doing. I also got this bag from Uniqlo. There is such a wide range of colors. There's even patterned ones. I know that the Lululemon bags are all the rage right now, but we can't be affording Lululemon here. And I really like this color. This one's not for me, but I ended up getting some underwear. This is for my boyfriend and their Saks brand. People have mixed opinions about Saks because they're kind of expensive. Like it was $40 for, yeah, $39.99 for this one pair of underwear. I don't even buy underwear like that for myself, but he really, really needs underwear. And at least I'll say that I got him something when I was away. Such a good girlfriend. The last thing, got some shoes. These are also kind of like work related shoes. These slip-ons, they're just white. They have a little perforated if that's how you pronounce it, pattern on them. Had pairs like these before, but they were just like really, really, really beaten up. So I got a new pair. It's good for the summer. These are the things that I got. I'm gonna have to pack up all my stuff as well, but I think we're gonna have a nice traditional home-cooked meal that I'm very, very excited for. What do you see? on Mondays. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks kind of squishy. <clears throat> From all their From shopping, shopping bag? <laughs> yeah. It's poor baby. <laughs> <laughs> It's really good when it's fresh. Like, 